I'm talking about that. Let's go. So we just made it to KSR Performance, which is the last checkpoint for tonight from South Georgia down to Gainesville. It was tomorrow's race day in Gainesville. It has been pretty wild here. They have done burnouts out here all night. A few of them are currently working on the cars back here. Uh, lucky for them, it is a shop here, so they get to use it as well. Mickey Westberg was just here checking in. Everything working great for him. They went back to the hotel, gonna get to sleep for tomorrow. Stefan Gustafsson is not here yet. I don't know if he's coming to this checkpoint or at the checkpoint that is at the other location. But we are about to see another burnout here, so let's check it out. good man I think I'm all back together now I I pretty much was just rattling apart my transmission has an adapter plate to bolt onto the engine and the bolts were backing out so the transmission and the adapter plate were falling off the transfer case was blown up inside so it's pretty much just driving front wheel drive with a lot of a lot of vibrations get back together and yeah we're gonna try and run it good tomorrow Now it's time for me to get some sleep. Need to get up early tomorrow and hopefully everything stays together for the Swedes and we see them in the finals. And we just woke up in the hotel here in Gainesville. We have about 20 minutes to the track, so we're heading that way. I think it's gonna be a pretty impressive day. Current status is that Mickey Westberg is number one, Stefan Gustafsson is number two. And what can I say, the Swedes are definitely killing it. Uh, blown 598 inches, uh, three speed Lenco, Bruno Drive, it's a 65 Mustang. It's kind of a car we beat on. I think it is the loudest car around. It is. Everybody says loudest yeah. one. It's been going pretty good. We had a few troubles on day one and two with the uh, just little gremlins getting us, but we're getting stuff ironed out, I think. Hopefully today we'll be able to make a good pass. We're hoping for a seven, anything at this point, so. Uh, yesterday we went seven, what did we do? 773. 773 at 193, so. But knocked the tire off on the hit, and then uh, salvaged what we could of the run, so. Did all right. Tension is a little calmer than the first days. Most people are working to get their cars back together, with the small issues they have. Just keep on coming in more cars. They don't start until 9 a.m. today. We did miss two days. On day two, Stefan lost his whole door. He literally drove so fast, the door flew off. To find a new door in time was absolutely no way. So they applied some new fiberglass, used a hair dryer, and heat from the engine to get everything done in time. They added some duct tape just to be safe that the wind wasn't gonna get under the door again. And when they were done with that, it was finally time for race.
Stefan did two fast runs, but unfortunately on both of them he started bouncing really bad. So he took the car back to the pit and started looking in the computer what he could change and came to the conclusion that he had to go down in power to be able to get rid of the bounce. If can they improve on the third hit, to shook the tires right off the line on the first hit, we almost gone through the 60 foot on the second hit. So we took out some more power and had to see if we can ride through on the third hit. Just go look. Getting it cooled down for 15 minutes or something. fucking burnouts last night. KSR at the bar on the highway. We stopped on the highway, did a fucking what? Where were we gotta oh. follow the green command. Might be slow, 12 second junk, but there's the burnout king. What are you doing? Yo, you got any water? <laughs> That's the burnout king right there. Yo, once you said you spoke to the cops, I did too. I went back. <laughs> the first checkpoint yesterday. We're sitting there at that little bar and I'm like looking over there. I'm like, oh yeah, look at this road. And we're out there looking at it. And I'm like, shit, there's a cop sitting right there behind this like little square building. So I like walk over. I'm like, maybe it's just a dummy. They're not there. So then I walk over and I get probably from here to that red Chevelle. And a cop comes out. He goes, can I help you? I'm like, I was just checking to see if you were on duty. And I was live on Facebook. He said, uh, yeah. I was like, well, you know, these guys trying to do some burnouts and stuff. And I know that's a no-no. He goes, you, uh, I said, yeah. So let me in that real quick. So I ended my live feed. I'm like, I'm off now. He said, I don't care. He said, go on by here. I said, now, I said, you gonna be okay? He goes, oh yeah, definitely. I'm like, all right. I said, now, I said, I got some air horns on the back. I said, uh, you want me to blow the horn? He's, oh, definitely blow the horn. Let me know when you're coming. So we went out and we blew the horn. And I, that was where, I, he probably showed you the video. His daughter got it. got uh, effed up by a crappy tuner so uh, we are ba trying to bandaid it around and we've been lucky until today managed to bandaid it around and today we uh, got a water spraying out of the radiator a little bit some combustion pressure in the water kind of surprised that it lasted as long as it did got uh, we hope we can uh, keep the water in the engine without problems now during the drive and then we'll uh, We'll see what we do tonight and uh, hopefully we can manage to make a pass tomorrow without completely f***ing something up. We'll see how that goes, but we'll see. We're sitting, uh, we're sitting second in the class and we can't, we can't catch the guy in front of us and uh, we got a little bit of a cushion behind us. So we hope we can stay second in class. Thank you. Thank you. So I just saw this traffic Stefan in the car. So I turned around and headed back down to the track. And I think this must be the last lap. I'm
point where we have a, a steady second place, but everything can happen tomorrow. Oh, yeah. uh, we're still in the game. We're, we're middle mid six anyway. We, we had we had the more solar lap chance. We would take a safe safe pass. Heck yeah! They say it's not over till the fat lady sings. It's exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Stefan's got problems all day, and in the end, that's like a fourth try, he managed to get a 6.55 or something, 6.56 time, which which makes us uh, even more a leader in the class or in the even competition. Uh, so I'm very happy for the outcome of this day, uh, and uh, it's uh, looking very good coming forward tomorrow. So it's my event to lose, pretty much, at this point, because Stefan needs to run two and a half tenths more quicker than I am if anyone needs to win so uh, fingers crossed it's gonna be like a nice easy 640 pass first first time tomorrow and then we're gonna crank it up a little bit that's the plan at least tomorrow is the final day in Orlando back to where we started currently looks like Mickey is in pretty good spot to be number one Stefan is a little bit behind him but he's definitely on a second spot but don't forget, they also have a long way to go to get back to Orlando. Anything can happen, anything can break, you never know. But at least today ended a little early, so they have a lot of time to work on it in case of anything happens. Tomorrow, tomorrow is gonna be pretty crazy. If you would like to support what we do, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, put a comment, share on all your social medias. And we're gonna keep on doing this as much as we can. We'll see you tomorrow.